Hello, welcome to Loon and Midnight Designs. Today's victim will be a Twyla body and a Kitty Cheshire's head. My inspiration is this outfit from Love and Nikki Dress Up. It won't be exactly like it, but it will be quite similar. I will also be making the heart pillow and the stuffed kitty. So let's get started. For her hair, I'll be using this purple nylon that I dyed to be dark purple or grayish purple at the root. The hairstyle I'm aiming for is like ponytails, which kind of does happen, but in a different way. So to keep the hair from getting too thick and looking weird, I will be only rerouting the hairline and the part, but I will be heavily rerouting these areas. I will style the hair after the face up is done. For now, I put the head away so the glue can dry. Moving on to the outfit, I'll be using these pattern pieces to make her outfit. Let's start with the tights. Like always, I sew the front, then the leg seams, and then the back. And they're done! Easy peasy. Next, I make her petticoat with this pink plaid fabric, a little lace, and elastic, and done! The top of the dress is simple. I sew the sides, and then I put aside to later attach the skirt. For her skirt, it is the same pattern as her petticoat. I add some ribbon and patches of different colored fabric. I then use embroidery thread to add a more of a sewing stitch details. I just really love how it looks. I then cut out small hearts and use watercolor paint to dye them different colors. I then add a trim around the skirt and figure out the placement of the hearts and then sew them on. I then attach the top and the bottom of the dress together and add a snap at the back. I then make her dress wrap with blue fabric, blue lace, and blue ribbon. I add another layer off camera from a plaid fabric that I dyed dark purple. I then add some more details to the dress here and there and her outfit is done. Oh, I did make her shoes but somehow I lost the footage of me making them. Very sorry. <laughs> Now, I'm very proud of how her face turned out. It was my first time doing eyes that were looking forward and doing cat eyes as well. I start with adding the white teeth and the whites of the eyes. I then blush her cheeks, forehead, mouth, and nose with soft pinks. I add purples and yellows to her eyes as eyeshadow. I then use color pencils to add more details like her waterline, lips, brows, and more colors to her eyeshadow. I also give her whiskers and later a cat nose. I just continue to layer so that the colors are more vibrant. Her eyes will be yellow and blue, meaning one will be yellow and the other one will be blue.
I really love how her eyes turned out. I continue to add more and more details to her face and once I'm happy I gloss her eyes, lips, nose and I put a little bit of gloss on her whiskers. And face up is done. Oh, and here is her hairstyle, just without the ribbons and bows. You'll see that all later. Now to make her heart pillow. I had no pattern, so I was winging it. And while I was, I got some unexpected guests. My two new ferrets, Coffee and Goose. I add lace and ribbon and bows and other details to the pillows. I then paint her tail and make her ears. with some magic and prayers make her weird looking cat stuffy. And here's the final doll. To me, her personality is mischievous and goofy. She's kind of like Thumbelina, but more chaotic and full of mischief. She is always busy sewing away, fixing and making things, but she is always also getting into trouble and causing a mess everywhere. I always find scraps of fabric here and there, leaving a trail all the way to where her workshop is. She is also always stealing my sewing supplies, but she does make the cutest little things, and she does always leave a small gift for me to find. She does also need a name, so if you guys have any suggestions, feel free to leave a comment. And if you also have a name suggestion for her little cat, Stuffy, leave one too. I'm thinking Bill. It fits him. It's weird, and he's weird too. Anyway, thank you all for joining me today. Making this doll was a lot of fun. Follow me on Instagram to see more, and to be more a part of my process, check out my community page for polls on doll ideas and sneak peeks of upcoming videos. And subscribe to catch future videos. Thank you all for the love and support. Have a creative day. See you soon. Bye.